Hey everyone, it is Friday the 13th today, and in my last podcast I had mentioned that I was going to try to put together just a short vlog that had some of my favorite things because I didn't get to them in that last episode. So I thought today would be the perfect day to do it. It is finally Friday. I am so happy about that. It is September, which is my favorite month of the year. I think it's my favorite month. And I have a few minutes and I thought I would share a few of my favorite things with you guys. Because I am in my bedroom and it was sitting right here, I thought I would share my favorite knitting project with you first. It is in my Sparkle Knitter project bag. And I did show it so I won't spend too much time showing you again, but this is, oops, it's the wrong side. This is my beautiful Trelawney shawl. The pattern is by Cleverest Stitch, and I'm really, really enjoying it. I talked a lot about it already, but I'm really happy with this project. It's just what I needed right now, and these yarns are absolutely gorgeous. Um, again, I shared all of the details about them on my last podcast, and um, I should be starting a Ravelry page for this very soon, but that is the knitting project that I keep picking up. It's the only one I've been really knitting on this week. I do have my little pouch here that just has lip glosses, and I thought I would share one of my favorite lip products because I don't think it would be a favorite things without some kind of makeup or skincare or hair care product for me. And this one is one of my current favorites. It's a Bobbi Brown art stick, and the color is bare, and it's just this huge fat crayon that you can use on your lips, and you can also use it um, on your cheeks if you want to. I'm also really enjoying these two magazines right now. The Magnolia Journal, I always pick this up, but I really like this issue. It's just getting me into the whole spirit of fall. And I also saw the new Sift at the grocery store the other day, so I picked this up. I have been trying to bake a little bit more with the kids back in school. I feel like I have more time, and it's always good for growing hungry teenagers to have baked goods in the house. I'm in my studio space now, which is quite the mess because I have been really busy preparing for needles up and cutting and sewing a lot. But I wanted to share some yarns that I've recently, I guess I've had it for a little while now, but I wasn't able to show it on my last podcast and I thought I would share now because it's a definite favorite. So back in May, I believe it was May 5th, Mustache Yarns had a big Star Wars update and even though I have not been knitting socks very much, I have always wanted these two colors which are the R2 and 3PO colorways. I remember seeing these on Instagram way back when and lot of, lots of people were knitting um, mixed socks, so one sock in each color, and I thought that was so cute. So I'm really happy to finally have these. And my friend Eric and I from Sticks Plus Twine, we had researched what colors we wanted because he is a huge Star Wars fan. And we decided to order together so that we could split the shipping. And so once it came, um, it was took a little bit of time. And then it took time for me to meet up with Eric. And he um, delivered them to me. And I am so happy with them. This is the Ray colorway, which I'm absolutely in love with. I think I'm going to cast this on as my next sock whenever that may be. So we got some Star Wars yarns, he got some different ones. Um, we got these great Shelly Can pins as well, the Millennium Falcon, and this cute Yoda, Swatch You Must. And then Eric was sweet and gifted me this adorable sloth knitter pin as well because I am the queen of slow knitting. So I wanted to share those because I absolutely love them and I wasn't able to share last week. I've just come downstairs and spotted something else I wanted to share with you. This is my new handbag. I got it last month, 
after my friend Lori had posted about it on her stories and I am so thankful that she did. She is love to plan Lori on Instagram and if you are into anything planner related you should totally follow her because she is so inspirational. But this is the Fossil Sydney Satchel and I have wanted this bag for a really long time. It was all the craze on YouTube with all the planner girls years ago but then it was discontinued and Lori had spotted it at a fossil outlet in Canada. She's in Ottawa. And there was a huge promotion going on and they brought them back to the outlet. So I was really happy that I found this for a great, great price. And at the time with the promotion, there was a free wallet. So I love it. I don't know what color this is. I know it's brown, but what I really wanted to share though is my continuing love of pouches because this bag is filled with pouches. So I will just show you what I have in here. So I've got my wallet, which is a Sojourner passport size cover. And inside I have like card holders and a little change thing. But I recently got this little pouch from Buku. So I love this pouch. I've got one of my patchwork pouches that has my makeup and a few little essentials for on the go. And I recently got this little case from Bomb Kuchen in California. I'll put their website up on the screen. I love that store. Um, it's mostly journaling and um, stationary supplies. And this is from the Superior Labor Company, which I love. And in here, I've just got some charging cables, um, headphones, band-aids, like just random things because my larger leather pouch that I usually carry does not fit. It could fit, but it was a little bit big in here, so I decided to try something different. So that is what I'm carrying in my purse, all the pouches. And I also have one of these, and I wanted to share this because I have shopping bags for when I get groceries or go to Costco, and they work just fine, but I absolutely love these large, I think they're large, they're either medium or large size, the Bagu tote bags. They are so handy. I keep a couple in my car, but this one has been in my purse. And no matter what I pick up and where I go, I seem to use this all the time and it just fits so much stuff in it. It's really deceiving how much you can fit in this bag. So I thought I would share that. I think I got mine on well.ca, but they have these everywhere. I think Chapters has them. Um, I know Espace Tricot sometimes has them as well. So. They're, they're um, called Bagu, and I'll put that name up on the screen too. I feel like I'm taking you guys on a tour through my house today. This is still my favorite room. In my last vlog, I talked a lot about my dining room and what I have in here. And I really wanted to share, because I didn't share that much on my podcast, but I really wanted to share a bit about the punch needle class that I took with Aruna at Buku. Um, it was at the end of August and I mentioned it in my podcast, but I didn't show any of it and I really just wanted to take a quick minute and show you my final piece. This is what I had almost finished. I'm going to take it over to the window because it's not very good here for lighting. So this is the finished piece. I was almost finished in the class. I just had a few of the petals left and a little bit of the purple background to finish up when I got home and I loved this class. I'm sure many knitters and um, creative people have seen this and have been interested in it and I can definitely say that it is very therapeutic, very relaxing. It's not a complicated craft and it's just so rewarding. I really enjoyed it. Um, I kind of mixed the two different ways, the two different sides where I've got the puffier stitches in the flowers and the more tight or flatter stitches in the leaves and the background. I really, really loved it. I'm so happy that I took this class. And when I was there, I picked up Aruna's beautiful book and she signed it for me, which was so nice. But if you are interested and don't have the opportunity to take a class with her, I mean, she does travel, but 
there are a lot of people out there and I'm sure she's not everywhere. It's not accessible for you, but this book has everything that you would need to know if you are starting out. So many great tips and projects. So I just wanted to share this because I really enjoyed it. And even though I do not need another hobby at the moment, I will definitely be picking this up again at some point because I really, really enjoyed it. So I will put this back up here where it belongs. And I know I've shared this on Instagram and I don't know if I have shared it in a video before, but this is my little washi tower. It's where I have all of my washi tapes, which I love. And I've had people ask me what I use them for. You can use washi tape for so many things. Mostly for me, it's decorative on paper, in planners and journals, but it's also really good on your knitting patterns when you wanna mark a spot. Um, I just love them. They're one of my favorite supplies. And as you can see, I've started collecting quite a few. And up here I have some skinnier ones, but I love my washi tape. If you guys follow me on Instagram already or have watched some of my videos, you will know that I am definitely a planner girl. And this past summer, I have just gotten so much more into my art journals, my sketchbooks, my supplies, and just all kinds of stationary things. Um, I'm not sure. It's been a really hectic summer or past six months, really. And I find this really therapeutic. There's just something about looking at art inspiration, books, videos, um, paper, pens, pouches. They're all the things that I love. And I'm really lucky that I have met a small group of friends that live in or just outside of Toronto. And we have a little group that meets up once in a while. And they have been so inspiring to me. I'm... I feel so lucky to have found that. It's kind of like having a knitting group, but paper and stationery and planners and all that good stuff. So I wanted to share my recent love. I've had this for a really long time, but it kind of took, took a little break. It was in a closet somewhere, but I pulled out my traveler's notebook and I am completely obsessed with it again. I love it. Um, I love the way it feels. I've got this really great um, pen pouch clipped onto it right now. This is also from the Superior Labor Company. I love it. It's so nice. I've got a couple of fountain pens in there. Some of the accessories, because I know I'll, I will get lots of questions. Um, you can get a traveler's notebook from so many places online. There are Etsy shops that sell them. Um, there's a store, there are a couple of stores in Toronto that have Websites that you can order them from, Paper Plus Cloth is one of them, Wonder Pens is another, and then there's also in the States, there are, um, there's JetPens.com, and also GouletPens.com is another one that I have ordered from, and I can't think of any more right now, but there are so many videos on YouTube if you want to learn a little bit more about how to use them, the different parts that you can buy for them, the different supplies, but... A lot of the cute things that I have are from Bomb Kuchen, so I will put their website on the screen for you. Um, I think I've gotten this Traveler's Notebook charm from them, and this one. I got this Traveler's Notebook clip from Paper Plus Cloth. And in here, um, I've got one of those like Ziploc kind of pouches here. I've got a book in the front that's my brain dump and blog and has some ideas for work. So I'm gonna skip past that. And then I've got one of these craft envelope inserts in here where I've got an old picture of Camden, possibly the best picture of James ever. And I've got one of these little monsters from Courtney who is Little Ink or Little Raven Ink and she has a Patreon page, which is amazing. I've found hers so inspiring. I have been um, a patron of hers for quite a long time, and then I've taken a break here and there, uh, and I've recently gone back, and I just love her videos. So this is just kind of like an insert. I think it's the number three paper insert of the from the Traveler's Notebook. 
and it takes any kind of pens, paints, markers pretty well. And I've just got, it's kind of like an art journal. So I, sometimes I'll put in photos. I just did this one. I haven't finished the spread, but basically I wanted to do a little bit of a gratitude practice. So I was popping in little things that I was thankful for. It's been a little bit of a hard week. I've got my watercolor swatches here because I just love swatching so much. And then I have a favorite product that I just bought and so I sketched it too because this is, I'm such a nerd, but I absolutely love this stapler. It's not cheap. It's kind of like a mini staples here. You can see they're kind of small staples. This is the brand. It's Aleppi. And it looks like a whale and I absolutely love it. I saw it in a video somewhere and I looked it up and I found that there was a store, I believe it's in Ottawa. I think I have the name here somewhere. There was a, a Canadian store that had it and so I ordered it from them. I think this is it. I'm pretty sure it's from the Baltic Club. Pretty sure. So just random things that I find um, having this book in my dining room, which is right off of my kitchen, which is in there. Um, if I start dinner and I'm so tired, I sometimes will just kind of pop into this room as something is in the oven and I can just slap down some paints, jot things down and I can go back and fill it in a little bit later because like I said, this one here, not quite finished. I've got a few little bits I wanna add in there and then also, oops, this one. So I'll go back when I have time and put in some thoughts and um, I've just been really enjoying this so I wanted to share that with you. I've also had quite a few questions in the last couple of months about some of my favorite supplies, things that I use in my journals and planners. And so I thought I would share just a few of them today. Could be a really long video and if and when I do have some more time, I might do a longer video on some of my, um, some of my supplies, what I'm using, all that kind of stuff. But for right now, um, I'm not really set up to be doing journaling videos. And so I thought I would just share what I could. So these are my two leather pouches that I sell in my shop. There is the small one and the large one, and I've also had questions about what you can fit in them. So in my smaller one, I have a brown one of these somewhere where I keep all of my essential knitting notions, and it's perfect because it just pops in really nicely into pretty much any knitting bag, project bag that I have. And I pulled out another one for myself, which is always nice when you're the maker, you can have a couple. And I use this small one right now. Um, I had originally used it for my basic planner essentials. So my favorite pens, a couple of highlighters, really the bare minimum. And then that way, if I wanted my journal up in my bedroom or to take it with me on the go, I would have this little case to go with me. But because I, don't journal on the go that much. And I was pulling out all of my fountain pens recently that I have accumulated over the last couple of years. I needed a spot to put them. And so this is what I currently have in the small pouch. I've got some Twisby, Twisby fountain pens. Um, these are actually one of my favorites. This is a new favorite that I got um, from Wonder Pens. It's the Opus 88 Picnic. I love this pen. And a Poeco. And this is also a Twisby Classic. So these are um, my fountain pens. And they fit really nicely in here with lots of room. So it's a good size, um, but it's nice and compact and easy to pop in any purse. I've not had any problems with it fitting it anywhere, I mean. So this is the larger pouch, and it is really quite big. So in this one, I have my more extensive collection of planner supplies. Not really art supplies, this is more um, journaling supplies. So I will see what I have in here. I have like a small glue stick. I've got my rifle 
paper company pencils, which I love. I have, I'll pull out some of my favorites. So these were recent pens that I just found at Michael's. If you are in Canada, and especially if you are near Ajax, because that is where I live, we have a pretty new Michael's and Ajax, and they've recently started stocking a lot more individual pens, highlighters. Um, they have a really good selection of the mild liner highlighters, which do I have one here? These which are another favorite. And you can buy them individually, which I love. So they've got um, art supplies and gel pens, so many of them. Some of them are at the front where the checkout is and some of them are in the aisle where the art supplies are. And I recently found these Zebra Sarasa Clip gel pens and I love them. They have these really pretty colors. These mild liners are a favorite highlighter in the prettiest soft colors but I recently found these when I was at the stationery shop in Montreal that I spoke about um gosh I can't remember the name right now maybe I will pop that store up on the screen too because if you are in the Montreal area it is a beautiful beautiful store I think these are my new favorite highlighters it's the Stabilo Swing Cool I really like them, also really pretty colors. I have been loving, and I never really thought I was a gel pen person, but I also found these gel pens in Michaels, and I love them. So, is that right? Yeah, I don't think I really use, that's different. So these, these are the Papermate Ink Joy 0.7 size gel pen. They are really, really nice. I usually like a thinner line, but I'm going to show you what I've been using those for. So I recently switched up the cover on my A6. One of the last videos I showed this had the blue dots on it, but I got this beautiful leather cover and it makes this a little more compact. And what I do here is just do um, just do to-do lists for the day. And I've been using these pens, which I love. And I'm really liking it. I love this paper. It is the Hobonichi paper. Um, some days I don't really feel much. Other days it's completely full. I'm not gonna show you everything because I probably have stuff that the kids wouldn't want me showing in a video. But um, I usually use these just with my to-do lists in the morning and they write really, really nicely. Another pack of pens that I got on Amazon, I have like a million colors of these. I probably won't take them all out, but it was quite a big pack. And I saw these mentioned on another video. I can't remember who it was, but someone on YouTube. And these are, let's see, the Pilot Juice Pens. And I love these. These are much thinner. I can't remember what size, 0.38. And I love them. So in my planner, if I want um, some color, then I use those. I'm also loving this new Sharpie, also recommended by Lori from Love to Plan Lori. It's the, um, what do you call it? Like push one, so there's no separate lid. And it's really, really good for putting in squares or using in a stencil because it doesn't bleed. I got this at Walmart. And please excuse my cuticles. My hands are so, so dry. This is also a favorite pen. So I always have a white gel pen. This is the Uniball Signo, which is really good to put white on top of anything else. This, okay, this is one of my absolute, absolute favorites. It's in my planner loop. It's the Pilot Multi Ball. And I don't know where to get these other than Amazon or Jet Pens. I'm looking for the code. Let's see, oh, here it is. It is LM104, or sorry, 10F slash B. I love this pen. Um, I just like the way it writes. It's awesome. So that is my number one pen. Got more 
mild liners in there. I've got a water brush, which is essential. Um, I've also got some, let's see if I can say this, Kuratake brush pens, which I don't use a lot. And I've also got a Tombow calligraphy pen. And a lot more of these juice pens because, like I said, it came with so many colors. And one of those, one of that color too. So that is kind of what is in my, um, my bigger pouch. I have a little whiteout tape and a little eraser. But most of my stuff for art journaling is in this cart. Some of my favorites really, really quickly are um, Posca paint pens. I love these, just to add little details. Um, I've got more pencils and paint brushes here. I really like the Zig Clean, Col Clean Color Real Brush Markers as well. So I've got lots of those back there. Um, and most of these I've just tried because I've seen them. The Tombow, uh, these are really popular. So Tombow markers you can get at Michael's. A lot of these I've just seen on art videos on YouTube and I've tried them out and I love them. Um, this is also one of my favorite things for journaling. The Dymo um, label makers are really fun. And a tab punch, which you can use whatever pretty paper you have and make these little tabs, which I also really like. Those are fun. And of course, a million other pouches, which, like I said, I could go on all day. Uh, this is one of my favorites. This is a Boku. I don't know what she calls this, but it's really big. It's a beautiful pouch that I keep a lot of my, if I am meeting up with my stationary friends, then I will take this with me. Um, in here I've got some extra Project Life cards, my date stamp. I've got my beautiful pen roll, which is from the Superior Labor Company. I'll show you that in a second, actually, because that's kind of fun. But let me just get these out of the way. And this is a huge rabbit hole if you start watching videos and if you're anything like me you kind of want everything but I've accumulated a lot of this over the years and just found some of my favorite things so here's the the pouch it's really big and I've got a few of my favorite um, drawing pens here this little pouch I made specifically to carry my HP sprocket which is a little portable printer and it keeps the cord and the extra paper in there. So that fits in my pouch really nicely. My tape roller, and then this beautiful pen roll, which was such a treat that I purchased for myself a couple of years ago, and I love it so much. It's also from the Superior Labor Company, made in Japan. It is a leather pen roll, and it has some of my favorite pencils, drawing pens, watercolor brushes, I've popped in a ruler, um, just some random pens. I've got my white gel pen, some mechanical pencils and eraser, but um, I change this up once in a while. Sometimes it will have my fountain pens, but right now I've got it set up to do some art journaling and it also fits really nicely into my Boku pouch with one hand I can't do it and then sometimes I'll even take my little pouch with some extra markers and things and put that inside and that's that so I hope that gives you a little bit of an idea of some of my favorite things that I use for art journaling planning all that stuff I also love this sweet little basket that I got from a homespun house she sells these Molly has these in her web shop most of the time um, and I love this all natural one with no color. And it's just become this little station for all of my most used journals, planners, things like that. And now I'm gonna clean all of this up and we will continue. I don't think this video would be complete without a cookbook recommendation from me. 
I picked up this book probably at the beginning of the summer. It was at a grocery store and I saw it, it caught my eye. I had a really quick flip and I put it in my cart right away. It is so beautiful. Um, it's called Half-Baked Harvest Cookbook by Tegan Gerard. And I didn't know who she was before, but I see online that she has a new book coming out this October. So that's kind of interesting. And I'll just give you a quick flip through. It's really, really beautiful. I think there's a lot of stuff in here that I would like to try. I haven't had a chance to cook that much this summer. It's been busy, but I really like the look of this book and I thought you guys might as well. This is actually the cookbook that I got the chicken shawarma recipe that I made in one of my last vlogs. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I also feel like cooking more in the fall, and so I've taken this out, and I'm going to definitely try some of the recipes that I have marked with sticky notes. I did make this one. It was pretty good, but I think my quantities were off. I think I was using a large pan, and my pasta didn't cook that great, but I'm definitely going to try that one again, the Friday night pasta bake. And there's just so much in here. It's a beautiful, beautiful book. Very inspiring. Oh, here's the chicken shawarma. So that's my cookbook recommendation for this video. I've ended up in my kitchen and I have one last favorite thing to share with you today. And honestly, I have thought of so many things to share over the months of doing videos that I really hope I'm not repeating too much because I do use the same things. Um, and I can't remember if I've mentioned these before, but they're definitely worth mentioning again. These are called the swag bags. And I saw these on Allie Edwards's um, Instagram stories and it took me a while to find them. I think if you're in the US, they are on Amazon, but in Canada, I couldn't find them on Amazon, so I had to order directly from the company, which is in Australia. There's their website. And they are just these amazing bags that you can put your produce in. So I've got a few of them. I got like a starter kit, and I've got a couple of them in the fridge with my carrots and celery and um, green onions and I actually use this really big one sometimes for bread if I make bread in the bread machine and it's really hard to wrap it and you don't want it getting it getting too hard because uh, I find bread in the bread machine gets so cr like super super hard really really quickly. So I've been loving these and I just thought I would share because I think they're really handy to have in the kitchen and they've been really helping with keeping things crisp and fresh without all that plastic in your drawers. So that is the last thing. I hope you guys have enjoyed sharing some of my favorite things with me. This is not sponsored in any way and I was just sharing some of my favorite things that I have been using and loving all summer and really thinking about going forward in September and this fall. And please do not think that you have to rush out and buy a bunch of stuff because I know I showed a lot of supplies, but maybe it's just a reminder to use what you have look around and pull out some of your own stuff and fall in love with it again because there's always something you can do that with at home. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. I won't have links below, but I am going to try to put as much information on the screen while I'm editing as possible. And if you have any other questions, I will answer them in the comments. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.